Hi, I'm Bryce with Phytech Fuel Injection, and this week on Tech Tuesday, we're gonna do a quick guide of how to take your PC software off of your handheld and load it into your laptop so you can start doing PC tuning. Let's get started. The first step that it takes to install the PC software onto your laptop is to plug your handheld controller into the laptop itself with the supplied USB cord. Once the handheld powers up, you want to scroll down to the very bottom of the main menu. It will be called Handheld Software Mode Selection. It gives you three options and the first one you want to select is Open Mass USB Storage and at that point the handheld will connect to your computer. Once the folder appears in your computer, you'll see that it's labeled the system that we want to download the software from. Please be aware that the PC software is only available for the LS systems and power adder systems. So we have the 30004 right here, which is the 600 horsepower power adder. We're gonna open up that folder, find the Phytech PC software, and you'll see that you have a installation utility as the very first thing in the list. I want to keep this on my computer, so I'm going to drag and drop it so it'll save on the computer, just in case I want to reload it later on. But if you have any other questions on how to install the ProCal software, or to use the drivers, or use the software, they're all in the files down below the installer. We're going to close that. We're going to open up our zipped file. We're using WinRAR here. You can download it off of uh, Google or any search engine online. Just type in W-I-N-R-A-R -R, and then free download and usually the first few items that pop up will allow you to download it for free. Your folder right here you can extract by dragging it and dropping it onto the desktop. So we're done there. And open up our folder and near the bottom we'll have a setup. Be careful, there's a few of them here. One of them will have application written to the right of it of the uh, application type. We're going to install that one. We're going to confirm we want to do the install and we're going to allow the system to install the PC software. Now that it's open we're going to hit next, agree to the terms, Allow it to choose the file location, do a typical installation, and we install. Now that it's finished, we'll click finished, and there's our PC software. Now we can open up the software and look around, but before we can connect to our system or the ECU and handheld combination, we have to download the drivers. To download the drivers, we gotta go to our file explorer and we'll go into our C drive, our local disk C, program files x86, we'll find the Phytech folder that just installed, open up the ProCal, and we'll see we got a folder called drivers. Now, whether you have a 32 or a 64 bit operating system will dictate which drivers you install so the one that says x86 will be the 32-bit operating systems and then the 64-bit operating systems will be the 64-bit setup. Now, we're using a Windows 10 machine, which has a little trick to it. Windows driver signature has to be disabled. So if we try to install this, it won't work properly, but it's really easy to reboot the computer to do the signature disable so that we can install this properly. So to do that, we'll go to our start window and our very first button down here is the power button. And all we need to do is do restart, but before we click restart, we want to go to our keyboard, push and hold the shift button, 
and then click restart and allow the computer to reboot. And when it reboots back up, it'll give us a prompt menu. In this prompt menu, it'll give us a few options. We wanna select troubleshoot, advance options, startup settings, and then we'll click restart. So when the computer restarts, we will then have a few options and one of the options will be to disable the signature drivers. On my computer, the prompt for that's gonna be F7. The computer's gonna restart with the signature driver disabled so we can effectively install the drivers of the Phytech PC software. Now that the computer's restarted, we'll go to our file explorer and we'll go to my computer or drive C, program files x86, find the Phytech folder, the Procal software, and then we'll open our drivers. And here are our two drivers that we can install. So we're gonna select our driver and install it. Now we get our prompt window that says that it's not been verified, do you want to install? We're gonna say install this driver anyways. And the drivers are now going to install into the computer so we can communicate between the laptop and the EFI system. So there you have it. The installation is complete. We got the drivers installed. So now you can launch your Phytech PC-based software and it's looking for connecting to your EFI system. So from this point on, all you need to do is go back to your handheld, scroll down to the bottom of the handheld to handheld software mode selection, and we'll select our laptop software connection to get the handheld to communicate to our laptop. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday. As you can see, downloading the PC software onto your computer is not that difficult. Remember, it's only for the Ultimate LS and the Power Adder systems. If you have any additional questions on how to install or use the PC software, please check out our other video on the ProCal software that goes on a deep dive on more information on how it works. If you have any additional questions, please ask them down below in the comments section.